dear students, welcome to our English class. Dear students, today we will revise two units. So, in today's lesson, we will review grammar, review vocabulary, and do practice tasks. Now, my dear students, look at the screen, please. And let's revise vocabulary. Try to find words in this snake. So, my dears, let's check. The first word is launch. The second one is hang gliding. The third one is workout. The next word is modal verb can. The next one is foolproof. And the last word is tasty. Good job, my dears. So, let's continue. Our next task is also for vocabulary. Match the words. You have some time. So, dear students, are you ready to check? Let's check together. The first word is endangered species. The next one, sharp claws. The third word is national identity. The fourth, breeding programs. The fifth, traditional sport. The sixth one is desert island. The seventh, solar system. The next one, human race. The ninth word is carry a message. And the last one is time capsule. Well done. Now, dear students, look at the screen, please, and try to label the pictures, please. So, let's check together. The first picture is, you are right, kayaking. The second picture is, windsurfing, good job. The third, martial arts, good. The first one is, couch potato. Let's continue. The fifth one is send a letter. The sixth one, chat on Skype. The seventh, steam engine. And the last one is spinning Jenny. Good job. So let's continue our lesson. Dear students, do you remember adjectives? I hope you do. Look at this task, please. Put the adjectives in the right order. Let's look at them together. The first, a black nice cotton t-shirt. Second, a round big wooden box. The third, a young tall thin boy. The fourth, a white beautiful French vase. The fifth, a silver round small coin. So, you have some time to do this task. Now, my dears, let's check together. The first right variant is a nice black 
cotton t-shirt. The second, a big round wooden box. The third, a tall, young, thin boy. The fourth, a beautiful white French vase. And the fifth one, a small round silver coin. Excellent! Now, dear students, we are going to read article about free time. Let's look at the first task. Let's read together. Hi, my name is Charlotte and I'm 17 years old. I like to spend my free time outdoors. I hate to sit inside, especially in the summer. On weekdays, I usually play sports after school or take my dogs for a walk in the park. At weekends, my friends and I usually go shopping. Next text. Hi, I'm Ben and I'm 14. Right now, I don't have a lot of free time. My family owns a restaurant and I have to help out after school and at the weekends. But it's quite fun, so I don't mind. When I get time to myself, I like to listen to music, play computer games, and chat with my friends online. So, dear students, look through again these texts because we will do tasks. So, let's look at this task. Answer the questions. Which person has a part-time job, likes to be in the fresh air, has dogs, likes to listen to music, and plays sports? So, dear students, you have some time to think. Now, let's look at the answers. The first question was, which person has a part-time job? Ben. The second, which person likes to be in the fresh air? It's Charlotte. Which person has dogs? Also Charlotte. Which person likes to listen to music? Ben. And which person plays spot? The right answer is Charlotte. Well done, my dears. And what do you do in your free time? Now, my dears, let's look at this task and try to do it correctly. Fill in with concentration, researches, supported, transform, beat, run out of, talented bank account. So, I hope you can do this task easily. Now, my dear students, let's check together. The first, chess players need a lot of concentration to plan their moves. The second, all fans supported the national basketball team in the final game. The third, they managed to beat the other team. The fourth, Adema is so talented at photography that she won her first prize last month. The fifth, a team of researchers designed this new technology. The sixth one, smart houses will transform the way we live our lives. The seventh, we've run out of milk 
Can you buy some more? And the eighth one, Riza hasn't got a lot of money left in her bank account. You are super. Dear students, do you remember tenses? Present simple and present continuous. Don't forget about form of these tenses and time expressions. Look at this task. It's time to practice our tenses. You should write in present simple this one and the next one you should write in present continuous. So you have some time. So my dears, let's check. Look at the first, present simple. I take my sister to school every day. Second one, Mansur helps his father very often. The third one, they usually go to the river for a swim. The fourth, Malika plays the violin every day. The fifth, I read every day. The sixth one, Nuriman sleeps every night. And the seventh one, we drink tea every morning. So now, let's look at present continuous form. The first, I'm taking my sister to school now. Second one, Mansur is helping his father now. The third one, at the moment, they are going to the river for a swim. The fourth, Malika is playing the violin now. The fifth, I am reading now. The sixth one, Nuriman is sleeping right now. And the last one, we are drinking tea now. Well done. Let's move on. So, dear students, today we've reviewed grammar from two units. We also reviewed vocabulary and done some practice tasks. My dear students, our lesson is over. See you next time. Good luck.